What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. This one is going to be a battery change and a strap change. This is the watch. This is a special watch to one of my buddies, Jonathan. This was his pop's watch. His pop has since passed away. And he wanted me to change the strap on it and the battery. As you can see, it is dead. Obviously, this is a Tommy Hilfiger watch. Not nothing high end, but very sentimental, and that's what matters. Um, the stitching that holds the buckle in on the original Tommy strap has busted. Um, so we were replacing it. I got this strap off of Amazon. $20, 18 millimeter strap. Uh, let's find the brand here. The brand is Waki, I believe. Woki. And uh, just a simple leather with the gold buckle, just like the original. So, very simple. Very similar to the original. Obviously, it doesn't have the Tommy branding on it. But I tried to get it as close as possible for him. So that it's very similar to where his father wore it. So there's the strap. It did come with spring bars. We'll move this out of the way. It did come with spring bars. So we'll be putting the spring bar, new spring bars in as well. I did clean up the watch. And that's the reason why the strap is no longer on it. I took the strap off to wash the watch. Because obviously, you know, leather um, is not good underwater. And I did not want to damage the strap as he wants to keep it as a keepsake. So I made sure I took the strap off before I washed the watch. Because, you know, his father wore this watch and it had a lot of, you know, dead skin and grime on it. So I started to shoot a video removing the um, case back to do the battery change. And quickly found out that although it does spin, these notches are dummy notches. And it's actually uh snap on case back. So that was surprising. I wasted a good 10 minutes of trying to open this watch before realizing that maybe this isn't a screw on case back after all, because I could get it to spin, but um, it would just spin and spin and spin. And it was very, very tight to spin. And then uh, I started looking at it deeper and I found this indention here. So I'm guessing that this is a snap on case back. And it looks, by the scratches on this case back, it looks like the person who changed his battery prior had the same issue. Where it's like false advertising. You think it's a screw-on case back and it's actually a snap-on. So we're going to do the battery change first. And then we will do the uh, strap change. So my pry tool underneath here. See if I can pop this off very easily. Yeah, I wasted so much time trying to unscrew that. So there is a battery, SR626SW. Let's see if I have that in my battery archive. And here it is, 377, Six, our SR626SW. So we're going to take one of these out. And that will go in. We'll remove the old very simply out with the old and in with the new. There we go. Let's see if we're ticking. We are ticking. Okay. Case back, back on. Let's make sure we get the crown cut out for the crown stem around the crown stem. So we're going to put it down like so. There we go. Let's see if we can just snap it on. Oh, yeah. Snap it on by hand. We're good to go there. There is the watch ticking. And now we're going to put the strap on. This should be a very simple, simple process. 
So 12 o'clock is the buckle side. So we're going to start here at the 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock facing. This way we're going to put the spring bar in like so. Okay. Get it to go in on one side. And then with the tool, I'm going to push down the other side. There we go. So there is the 12 o'clock side on. Now let's get the six o'clock side on. Okay, same exact process, push the spring bar down and in, and there we go. So now let's check the time, I got the G-Shock on today, time is 10.15. About 1017, so we're going to set it to ten seventeen. Whoa, this handset is very, very loose. Okay, there it is. Watch is ticking, strap is changed, battery is changed, watch is good to go. So thanks for watching another Tommy Big Time video. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, turn the bell notification to all. And uh, I always do battery changes and strap changes and bracelet resizing on this channel. So um, not only am I showing my collection, but I'm also showing people's watches that are given to me to work on. If you enjoy that kind of content, please, please consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and getting the big time gang brand out there. Much love to you all. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.